All righty, well, hello, sinners. How are you? On today's installment of the Letterboard of Truth, our quote of the day is... You're gay. Can't argue with that. Well, happy Pride Month, everyone. June is such an important month for us as queer people because it gives us an opportunity to celebrate who we really are. This is the time to appreciate and reflect on the groundwork our ancestors laid for us. Overall, Pride Month serves as a reminder for us to continue their legacy, ensuring that future generations of queer people will always be protected and respected. And I'll be contributing to this in the only way I know how. By shaming heterosexuals. You might think I'm being harsh. Some would call me heterophobic. But after you see some of the I dug up from r slash r the straights, okay, you might have a change of heart. The bar has been in hell for straight people, as in where most of us will be going, and yet they still manage to not reach it. I mean, we're literally asking for the bare minimum here. So here we are for the fourth time on my channel, where I ask you, my sinners, the million dollar question, are straight people okay? And the answer is obviously no. While making fun of the straights is very satisfying, you know what's even more satisfying? Lilo, who happens to be the sponsor of today's video. See what I did there? Cause, uh, cause Lilo, they make um, adult toys. Okay, roll the clip. Hello, I'm coming to you live in, you guessed it, a different shirt to inform you about today's sponsor. Lilo. I partnered with Lilo this past April, and I'm so happy to be working with them again for many reasons. Lilo is an adult toy brand established in 2003, and their main goal is for their users to embrace their sensual independence. Sensual independence is all about knowing what you want and extending the boundaries of your pleasure in the way you see fit. Lilo encourages their consumers to secure time for themselves, to explore their desires freely and openly with without any pressure or judgment. When it comes to your own sexual well-being, it's important to create your own path filled with confidence and pleasure. As someone who is trying to unlearn the stigma surrounding adult toys and exploring their own path of sensual independence, Lilo's mission has really resonated with me. For this month, Lilo sent me their Ida Wave to check out. The Ida Wave is a dual stimulation massager created for those curious enough to delve into their own sexual awakening. The Ida Wave combines wave motion technology, mimicking a finger-like motion. The insertable tail rotates while carrying over vibrations from the head, which brings satisfaction to your G-spot. This soft and flexible knee design makes it easier to fit and mold to your anatomy. What I really like about the Ida Wave is that you can totally customize your experience. It took me a little to find what settings worked for me, so I would highly recommend downloading the Lilo app to go through the pattern rotation rotation slots. I like that this feature gives you more control of your pleasure. Take time to relearn who you are with the Lilo Ida Wave and make sure to click the link at the top of the description to check out the Ida Wave for yourself. Thank you so much to Lilo for supporting my channel. Now let's get back to your scheduled programming. I think the best way to start off this episode of Are Straight People Okay is with a classic meme. And you might recognize this one since it's made its rounds on Twitter several times. Celebrate straight pride. It's natural, it has worked for thousands of years, and you can make babies. So being able to conceive is the hallmark of a natural relationship, even though plenty of queer couples have their own biological children. And technically being gay would be considered natural, since since homosexuality appears in over a thousand species in nature, such as dolphins, beetles, and sheep. Just recently, there was a pair of goth lesbian foxes from a Minnesota fox sanctuary that made the news. And as a lesbian myself, that is the representation I've been searching for. And for the small amount of straight people who are gonna come in my comments and say, Oh, we need a straight pride, where's our representation? You have it year round, okay? Just walk into any Home Goods or TJ Maxx and ask the employee where they keep their Ray Dunn collection. I walked in the bedroom to find my wife dead in the bed the other day. Looking at her lifeless there, I decided to have one last go. Right in the middle, she opened her eyes and shouted, Boo! Honestly, some people are f***ing sick in the head. What a horrible day to know how to read. This post single-handedly takes those I hate my wife jokes to the next level, I mean... 
necrophilia the straights have really outdone themselves this time necrophilia aside the joke in case you weren't aware is that the husband called the wife sick for playing dead you know classic couples prank even though he was having intercourse with what he thought was her dead body I never said it was a good joke. The third post I have is in two parts from what I'm guessing is a Snapchat video. The first screenshot is of a little boy looking at something past the camera, and for privacy reasons, I will be blurring this child's face. And the second image is a shot of two women walking down the street wearing crop tops and shorts, which is perfectly normal clothing to wear on a hot day. The caption reads, keep it in your diaper, son, implying that this baby is getting aroused by the two women. But gay people are the groomers. <laughs> We're the ones trying to indoctrinate children. Not only is this person sexualizing the two women for literally existing, for just walking down the street in shorts and crop tops, they're also sexualizing this little boy. Not only that, they're teaching this child from a very young age that it's okay to view women strictly as objects for their desire. From a purely biological standpoint, children don't start feeling a attraction towards others until they hit puberty. And judging by the photo, this little boy seems very young and has a long way to go until then. So this person is projecting their own sexual thoughts onto their baby. That is disgusting. There's that phrase, let kids be kids, that has been thrown around a lot, especially recently, but it seems to only apply to anything LGBTQ plus related. Moving on, the next post I have is a list of red and green flags to look for in a wife. So as I go down each list, feel free to check off what applies to you. And I know the person who made this put wife in the title, but you don't have to be a woman to participate. Consider this a gender neutral group activity. So for red flags, we have atheist, nihilist, feminist, off to a bad start already. Vegan, I'm not vegan actually. Knows how to twerk. I think I know how to twerk, but do I know how to twerk well? The jury is still out on that. Thinks babies are bad for the environment. <laughs> Why did he put quotes around the environment? The environment is very real, sir. Listens to Cardi B and that other woman rapper. Is he talking about Megan The Stallion because she was the other artist featured on WAP? Because conservatives seem to hate that song. Put some respect on Megan The Stallion's name, okay? Has purple, green, or blue hair. Classic. Classic conservative one-liner. Where's a nose ring? <laughs> Who would ever do that? Th that's like so out of style and lame and stupid. Cat lady. I don't know why people have beef with cats, but I guess, you know, the girls that get it, get it, and the girls that don't, don't. Finally, drinks alcohol and smokes weed. That green, that <laughs> good kush. <laughs> 420, am I right? Now for green flags, we have traditional Christian, steak fajita enthusiast. <laughs> this is the only base thing he said thus far. Knows how to bake. I mean, like, I'm not the best in the kitchen, but I do know how to make those Pillsbury holiday cookies, so... Yeah, I guess you can call me a baker. Loves babies and wants to have as many as possible. Listens to Thomas Sowell audiobooks. Has really, really super long, healthy, natural hair. Wears sundresses. Goat lady. <laughs> drinks herbal tea. Churns butter. <laughs> Sir, what is this little house on the prairie? I'm sorry, but we're not in 1890 anymore. So I think you're going to have a tough time finding a woman who will churn butter for you. But, um... Good luck with that, I guess. This next post might be my favorite thing I've ever shown in this series. And I know that sounds weird, but stay with me. Now, I don't know where this photo was taken, but here we have a trucker hat that says, the more I learn about women, the more I like my truck. Normally, I would on this wife bad kind of humor that boomers can't let go of. But knowing me, if I saw this in a thrift store, <laughs> I would buy it immediately. Like, are we at the 2019 Met Gala? Because this is camp. <laughs> and in case you're wondering, I found a similar hat to this on eBay, and yes, it will be here by July 5th. This next one is a screenshot from some TikTok, and the caption says, When your son thinks he's slick on Snap, thinks he's in love with her, but it's actually me on my fake account, because you can't play a playa. 
bestie, this is bad. <laughs> this is really f bad. Sophocles called and he'd like his Oedipus complex back. My only question is, why? Why would you lie and emotionally manipulate your son like this? You can't find any other hobbies? F*** it. Even join an MLM if you want to. Anything is better than this sh And I can't believe she's laughing about it too. Like, what the f***? This is, this is emotional incest if I've ever seen it. Certain moms need to stop treating their sons like their second husbands. I don't know how older kid is. I hope he's not a minor because otherwise that would make this even more creepy. Regardless, I hope the son leaves her household as soon as he turns 18. We have reached a cringe level that has not been reached yet in my videos today. I don't know if I should consider that an accomplishment or if I should question everything in my life that has led me to this point. Let me know. After reading and taking in both sides, I've changed my way of thinking. Women and men can be friends. However, they can't be close friends because chances are someone will eventually catch feelings or get hurt. Now, believe it or not, this tweet was written by a grown man. This is a multi-millionaire YouTuber and co-owner of three businesses and He's debating on whether or not you can be friends with someone of the opposite gender. KSI, bestie, what are you doing? You're literally 29 years old. <laughs> Go pay your mortgage or something. Like, what the f*** are you doing? Also, what does he mean by reading and taking in both sides as if he just came to some deep philosophical conclusion? Congrats on figuring out a concept the rest of us grasped in elementary school. So if we go by KSI's logic, that means gay men aren't allowed to be friends with other men and lesbians cannot be friends with other women. So I guess, so, and if you're bisexual, I don't know what to tell you. Um, you're SOL, so sorry, get a cat or something. I don't know. Your husband will always be your biggest and oldest child that requires the most adult supervision. Sinners, let's take a moment to pour one out for all the women married to adult man children who use weaponized incompetence to get out of vacuuming the living room. Cheers, you queers. And you know that some lady named Carol from Idaho shared this on her Facebook timeline as a cry for help because her husband Dave stormed out of the house after being asked to preheat the oven. And Carol, if you're watching, I hope you know that you deserve better and we're all rooting for you. Find a man who treats you like the queen you are. Did you know when a woman wears a leather dress, a man's heart beats quicker, his throat gets dry, he gets weak in the knees, arms are sweaty, there's vomit on his sweater already, mom's spaghetti, and he thinks irrationally. Ever wonder why? It's because she smells like a new car. <laughs> <laughs> what? This feels misogynistic, but I also don't know what this person is saying. So do they want to fuck a car? I mean, we had someone who fucked what they thought was a dead body earlier, so I guess this is a step up. And you know what? I was wondering what happened to that one guy from TLC. No matter what's going on, though, I do not claim the energy from this picture. So it seems like in every rendition of Are Straight People Okay, I managed to find some out-of-pocket piece of baby's clothing that should not be worn by any child. And the one I'll be showing you isn't as bad as ones I've shown in the past, but it's still weird nonetheless. So here's a onesie that says future trophy wife that is meant for a baby girl. This is meant for a little child that can't even feed themselves and yet, we're already objectifying them. But they really nailed that ugly Christian influencer font. And last but certainly not least, I have one more post to show you. And I know I already showed you some gems today that won't leave you with any permanent psychological damage, but I think this next one takes the cake for the creepiest post thus far I've read in my Our Straight People OK series. So if you have a weak stomach, please tread carefully. Breastfeeding your daughters is wrong as it provokes lesbian attraction. You should breastfeed your son, however, as it opens him up to desires to women early on. You should breastfeed as much as possible so your son can see what he should be attracted to, and he'll be able to experience sexual arousing from a young age where he will feel attracted to breasts and women. 
suddenly I'm nauseous. I don't know whether to comment on the sexualization of breastfeeding, the objectification of mothers, or the fact that this person thinks that you can choose whether or not your child is gay. But what I will say is that this person should not reproduce. Like, please refrain from passing on your DNA to the next generation. Instead, um, maybe talk to a professional to work through your mommy issues. But congrats to this person, because I will be bringing them up in therapy next week. I usually try to end these videos on a light note because they're all meant to be in good fun, you know, to give us a laugh or two, nothing more. But I feel gross. So I think I'm going to go take a shower and lay down for the rest of the night. If you'd like, let me know if you want to see a fifth installment of Are Straight People Okay? For whatever reason, I don't know why we're putting ourselves through this at this point. And if you'd like me to talk about anything in particular, I have a Google form linked in the description where you could submit potential video ideas. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you liked it, please give it a tiny, tiny thumbs up and subscribe down below. Thank you again to Lilo for sponsoring today's video. I I love you guys and I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Bye!